welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Certain smells may influence brain cells to make decisions. The University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus researchers have discovered that odors stimulate specific brain cells that may play a role in rapid go, no go decision making. The study was published online on 6th February 2024 in the journal Current Biology. Scientists focus on the hippocampus, an area of the brain crucial to memory and learning. The so called time cells play a major role in hippocampal function, but their role in associative learning is not well known. These are cells that would remind you to make a decision, do this or do that, said the study's senior author Diego Restrepo, PhD, a neuroscientist and professor of cell and development biology at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. The researchers observed that when mice were given the choice of responding to a fruity smell by licking on a spout that there was sweet water, they quickly learned to lick the fruity smell as opposed to the smell of mineral oil. They have to associate the odor with the outcome of what they are doing, so that's why they learn decision making, said Ming Ma, PhD, a first author of the study and a senior instructor in cell and developmental biology at the CU School of Medicine. Effects of you tackle football and brain structure and function. A study in JAMA Network Open explored the brain structure and neurophysiological characteristics of adolescent football players. The neurological impact of adolescent football players subjected to head trauma is unclear. While football might promote teamwork, repeated subconcussive blows can cause neurological problems, particularly in athletes. Studies have reported that collision sports athletes have a lower cortical thickness, but current high school and college football players have higher brain volume reduction and cortical thickening in frontotemporal areas. Resting date functional magnetic resonance imaging, which is the RS fMRI functional connectivity, indicated neurophysiological alterations caused by repeated head trauma. In the study, researchers used sophisticated neuroimaging techniques to assess brain anatomy and neurophysiology between high school football players and non-contact sports participants. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Genetics tied to emotional reactivity under stressful situations. A recent study published in the scientific reports examined the link between genetic variation in the CD38 gene cluster and heightened distress during emotionally charged situations. Oxytocin is a peptide neurohormone that is actively involved in social behavior, including parent infant bonding, particularly in the immediate period following childbirth, relationships, and group dynamics. Oxytocin related genetic variants have been associated with various effects on empathy, brain activation during emotion recognition tasks, response to trauma, and the risk of autism. Researchers have identified that A allele carriers of the CD38 single nucleotide polymorphisms, that is the SNP, had higher plasma oxytocin level, a more sensitive approach to parenting, and stronger empathic responses. However, other studies have reported that individuals with the AA genotype of the CD38 SNP reported higher levels of suicide ideation, depressive symptoms, and greater alienation from parents and peers. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.